podcast time, everybody. Ooh, something special today. Danger Scene stops by. You don't get just us. <laughs> There's so, other people. Special guests. Yay, Danger Scene, one of our most favorite bands. It was really in. fun to hang yeah, out with to them. to hang out with them. Uh, so that you can hear in this podcast. You can see it on our Facebook page or YouTube channel if you would like to get a peek at what happened. That's on Radio U Riot for both Facebook and YouTube, and then you can watch them in the studio with us, too. Uh, let's see. We also talk about twins, seatbelts, August, Panera, and the double bread bowl? The double bowl. But see, yeah, I was going to say, I keep calling it a double bread bowl, but it should really be double bowl bread. Yes. Because it's one bread. Which is what? like It, it just makes me think of the what's the double gulp. Yes. The gu- That's double 64 gu- ounces yeah. from 7-Eleven. This is not as much, and it's a bread bowl, but we've got details on it, especially if you're in Philadelphia. Uh, we're also excited about a frivolous lawsuit. Chipotle... Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle. So, hey, you guys enjoy the podcast today. As always, thanks for hanging with us. Don't forget that this podcast happens because Radio U happens, but Radio U only happens through your support. We are a listener-supported network, and you can support now. Go to RadioU.com, click on Donate, and help us do what we do. Thank you guys so much for listening. Bye. The Worst of the Riot box set is now available nowhere because we know you wouldn't want it anyway. It's The Worst of the Riot on Radio U. Remember that today is your last day for the Christmas in July channel. Well, actually, flag on the play for that. That was yesterday. Oh, no. It's August. Oh, no. <laughs> it's over. It's the first of August. It is. We're 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 in it now, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> is that all you have to say for it? Uh, uh-huh, that's that's quite eloquent. <laughs> and of course, August would have to have 31 days. <laughs> it would just have to, wouldn't it? Now, you guys, for Christmas music, I mean, do what you want on your own. Mm-hmm. But as far as the Christmas in July channel, that's over. But just think about it. What do you have next to look forward to? Uh, Our my act- birthday. Well, I'm talking Christmas music wise. The next one will be the actual Christmas channel. Oh, yeah. That'll okay. be later in November. So, we're not going to do an Obadiah birthday channel this year? There wasn't plans, but I mean, if you and I want to make it happen, we can set the ball rolling. Something special. Send a couple emails, <laughs> set up a couple meetings, and talk about it. <laughs> we're going to need art. Yeah, we are. We're going to need that. We always say that. Where's the art? Yeah, so that's that's something. All right, well, let's, uh, let's mark that down, and we'll see what happens. Otherwise, you know, Christmas, that goes on hold now until November. Yeah, all right. I need, we have to get August passed because September, I got a whole list. I made a list last night of all the things I hate about August. We can, we can talk about it later. But okay. It is the last thing that stands between us and the great months of the year that are coming. Sure. It's We're the last, almost there. It's the last obstacle. We'll just, just going to stop now. See, to me, I just like September just as much as August, but it's your birthday month for September, so you've got a couple of good redeeming qualities. September works for me. It kicks off with la- uh, yes. Memorial, or Labor Day. You mm-hmm. get Labor Day. You get football. Like, there are things in September that make it, that make it a good You're month. Right. August is just like, here, it's hot. Die. <laughs> And that's what's on your calendar. You might not have never seen it, but it's just in small print. Hot. Die. <laughs> the Riot is an award-winning morning show. It's literally a medal for sucking. Now that is a medal for trying. Okay. Radio U. Last night, I was out and about on my way back from the movies, and I stopped to get some gas. Yeah. And it was, it was awesome. I'm just sitting there pumping gas, and this minivan or something pulls up and this lady gets out and I hear her say, leave your seatbelt on. And then I hear. <laughs> was that from the passenger in the vehicle? <laughs> Somebody in the back seat, a kid of some age. I know was not very what, unhappy with that. Choice. Really wanted that seatbelt off. <laughs> and when the mom was like, no, it's just like, <laughs> I just started laughing <laughs> And I was like, saw a little of yourself in that. <laughs> oh, a little bit. I laughed and I was like, the lady kind of laughed too. And I was like, you're such a mean mom. <laughs> oh, she got you were joking though, right? Oh, totally. Totally. Like it was just the funniest <laughs> moment of just like this kid screaming. And that is one of the things that I think is great. If you ever get a chance to be around little kids, which I, I don't very often, they've got no inner life. No inner voice. No filter. Nothing. So like whatever they're thinking or feeling in the moment. 
is never a mystery to anyone <laughs> within, what, 150 feet? <laughs> like, whatever. Like, they are for real telling you exactly what is going on in their mind in that moment. It's amazing. Now, we grow up and we learn to control ourselves and pretend, like, hey, here's a project for you. I like this project, and I'm very grateful to have this job. Thank you for giving it to me. And on the inside, you're like, hey! <laughs> on the inside, you can't take your seatbelt off. <laughs> I hate it oh, my gosh! Here's something I want you to know. Just like me standing there with that mom and that kid, that kid had no inner life. You know what? As far as God is concerned, no inner life. God actually knows how you really feel about things. He knows what's really on your mind. The stuff where you're like, oh, man, if Nikki knew how I was feeling right now, she would hate me. You know what? God knows. And not only does he not hate you, he loves you. He does. And he knows. Man, isn't it funny? Like, sometimes life is hard, and we don't want other people to know we're having a hard time. Man, God knows what's going on. You don't have to pretend with him. You don't have to act like everything's fine. That is one place that you can go to God, and you can take what's on the inside and put it completely on the outside. Talk to God about how you feel. Tell him how bad it sucks. Tell him how upset you are about whatever. God is not going to walk out on you. He's not going to be like, hey, call me when you're feeling better and we'll hang. God is there with you. Bad days, good days, days you have to leave your seatbelt on when you really want it off. <laughs> like whatever, he's there. Now, if you don't have a friendship with him, you're really missing out on something special. And you don't have to miss out anymore. You can right now say, Jesus, I want that. I want you to come into my life. I want you to fill me with your spirit. I want to have a relationship with you right now, today. And man, whatever's going on today, you can talk to God about it right now. Ever grab milk right out of the fridge to pour in your cereal only to realize that your stupid roommate left an empty carton in the fridge? That emptiness is nothing compared to how you're about to feel. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. So we're just a couple of days away from the big happy event. The wedding of the century. Well, at least the, <laughs> the wedding of the month. Wedding of the weekend. Who's getting married? Well, it's two weddings. There's August 3rd and August 4th. Zach Lewin is going to marry Chrissy Bevier. And then Nick Lewin is going to ma- marry Cassie Bevier. Sis- uh, so sisters are marrying brothers? Twin brothers are marrying twin, twin sisters. sisters. Okay. It's getting weird. <laughs> There's, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. It's not wrong. It's not well, wrong. I didn't say it was wrong. I didn't say it was wrong. They went on their first date together. As so a, meaning as like, like they, double, they double dated the four of them. Aww. But I, how do you know which one that you like? Well, not not down not the like, line. Not down the line. I get initially? it. But initially, you're like, there are these two girls. They look a lot alike. Um, which one do you want? I'm sure or, people same. who are twins would like to remind you that, you know, they are different people and like different things and different personalities. Do you know how many sets of twins do you have for friends? Nine, actually. You have three? Three, three sets of twins? Three sets of twins so that I, are my friends. You want. <laughs> I lived with a set of twins for four years. Did you? Yeah, I did. And uh, it, <laughs> I still, well, I, it's it's a thing. Whatever. We won't get into it. I have met some to where some seem more comfortable being a twin and like together and liking the same things. And then I remember meeting another where they wanted to be as opposite as possible or basically rebelling against the the twin part. Mike and Nick were like the same person. Was it? I swear they still are. <laughs> it's just like, it's now, not this, let's not say that, let's say they were a coin. Like they were two sides, but definitely the, the same, same coin. coin. No doubt about that. I, that's what I just wonder is like, it's not down the line. Because again, Mike and Nick, those were my college friends. Like for the first Three months I was calling them the wrong names. And then eventually you you're like. You finally learned the difference. You're like, of course, they're, they look completely different. They're not remotely the same. But initially, come on. like. But they probably understood because the other. Oh, they're totally used to it. Because the people were a set of twins themselves. Right. But again, set of twins meets a set of twins. Mm-hmm. How do you decide who's going with who? And do you end up in a situation where. You know, like, oh, I was really in love with him the whole time. Change your mind? I don't know. Hey, that happens in any... Not really. 
not in any dating situation. It happens in the movies all it the does. time. Yeah, that's where I feel like it's happened. It's definitely been in a movie. I was supposed to marry this guy, and then I was really in love with the best man, and I had been for years, and I finally told him at the wedding when everyone lo- was standing there. I was in love with the other twin. It yeah. just seems a lot messier than uh, maybe we've experienced, but I don't know. Well, If they like not. each other maybe and they not. love each other. Maybe this is, maybe this was like the easiest thing in the world. World, where it was just like, yep, yep. All right, at done. One, at one point, they had to have a meeting where they were like, okay, it's weird, but we're all getting married. Okay, all right. <laughs> Let's all live in the same house. Is everybody okay with the weirdness? All right, well, now this is going to happen. <laughs> no, no big deal. Like, it's fine. Uh, I had a friend who was dating who became his stepsister. He married her. Like, he was dating her. And As then they were steps? Da- no. And then... His dad met her mom. Oh, and then that they and got married. They got married, and then eventually they got married. I don't know. You know what? Now that's a movie. That <laughs> right there. That's a lifetime movie. Hey, let's workshop this I thing. Know, like... I got a team of writers ready to go. <laughs> that is totally a movie right there. The riots. Apparently some of the less athletic types go nuts for this stuff. Radio U. Well, look here, I've got an email. From the CEO of Movie Pass. Oh, oh, he must be very upset that I canceled my (laughs) subscription yesterday. So, Movie Pass has just been having a mess. It is literally a mess. And then yesterday they started talking about, well, now you can go see particular movies, but not from all movie companies. And they've raised prices for the subscription, which they said they have around 3 million users. Yeah, I got this email to the community. That I'm a part of for 12 <laughs> they, more days. That they still have your email for. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says that he wants to apologize for the inconsistencies in their service, and they've had to make some changes. Though they do say that they have uh, revitalized the movie industry in the United States. That they, he is saying that the 10% growth that they have seen in the first six months of the year. is from them? He says it's from them. But if it was such great growth, why can't they sustain it then? Well, don't ask questions. <laughs> That's why it's an email and not a phone call. And not a phone call, yeah. So uh, they, again, it doesn't quite say when, but uh, the rumor is that basically new releases will wait two weeks. So, like, and for example, see them? if you wanted to see Mission Impossible last weekend, just add two weeks to that, and you'll probably be able to go see it. I think what the heart of the problem is, um, you know, you go see, like, what? You spent $10 a month on this service, Uh and you could see roughly one movie a day, give or take, like, if it was blacked out or something. When I started, it was Mm -hmm. $10 a month. I could see a movie a day, and it was any movie, any time, as long as it was not an IMAX or 3D movie, Mm -hmm. and I could go to the same movie as many times as I wanted. Sure. Like, whatever. So the problem is, though, when you would go to the movie, you'd be using MoviePass, they would still be paying for your ticket to the the movie, And, and in some cases, you might go and spend only $5, technically, but they'd have to pay a full amount uh, to the studios for your ticket. So they're paying a lot more than necessarily what you were thinking well, that you're spending. That depends. Like mm-hmm. what, the way the app worked was like you would tell it what theater you were going to and what time, and then they would put money on your, I have a, your I have card. a movie pass MasterCard, and then that's how you would pay for it. And I don't, and I think the mo- the rest of the unused money went back. I, I don't remember. Well, they were just spending a lot more money. Way more money. Than necessary. Because, you know, some goes to the movie theater itself, but then they'd have to pay for that. Um, so I think if they're making you wait, that's usually the... Uh, the lowering of the price that they have to pay for the actual movie ticket. So, yes, and that's exactly right. The other thing that they came out yesterday, they said, hey, probably two weeks before you can see large new releases, uh, you also will notice that not all showtimes are offered. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you might want to go at 8 o'clock at night. They may not support that showing. might might not do that. So you can't go to that one. The longer a movie is in the theater, the more money the movie theater or other companies will make off of it Mm -hmm. uh, because they get to keep more of your money that you're spending. And so that's that's kind of where they're at. Like they it's, they've done that. It can't. And it can't sustain it. It's funny. Like it's when large movies come out that they take a big hit. It was when uh, 
Avengers Infinity War release that they were like, yeah, you can only see movies one time now. <laughs> like, you can't go see it twice. It's like, wait a minute. This is not and what you signed up for. It's not in this email, but the other thing that everyone is reporting is that the service has now gone from 10 to $15 yeah, a is. month. So I'm out. Like, I, I canceled you yesterday. You I have did. a few weeks, and you could see anything that's old. Yeah, well, and you know what? That's okay, because I haven't seen The Equalizer. I haven't seen Jurassic World. And there was one other thing I haven't seen that I wanted to. And I may try to. There's a theater that is not close, but is not far, that is showing all three of those films. And I could go down there over the next couple of weeks and see those movies. Use it up before your movie pass goes away. Or wait a month, and they'll probably be at Redbox. <laughs> The worst of the riot. It's like Lucky Charms, but no marshmallows. Radio U. You ever have those shows, like TV shows, where you're like, man, I I feel like I would really like that. But when then you sit down and watch it, you just can't connect quite with it. Connect with it. That was me with Timeless, that show on NBC. It it has everything that I like. It's so got, the one based off the movie. No. No? Okay. It's not. Though I will tell you, it is just straight up Time Cop. That's what it it is. (laughs) Time Cop was a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie from I don't even know when. uh, And that was about a group of people whose job it was to enforce time travel laws. So, like, they wouldn't let people alter the past. Well, Timeless was about a group of people that developed time travel, someone that stole it, and then them going after those people trying to fix it. On paper, like, it really sounds perfect for you. I know. (laughs) But it just didn't work. I watched it multiple times, and though, again, I was like, man, these are great ideas. Like, they went back to the 60s. They did the Hindenburg, you know, oh, the huge manatee. Yes. Like, they did all (laughs) those things, and it was like, man, these are great ideas. It's fairly well done. I just just can't connect with it. Like, I don't know why. Well, they were canceled after their first season. Yeah. Yeah. That was, quite honestly, another reason why I didn't watch it, because I was like, dude, this show is never going to last. Well, it ran from October 3rd, 2016 until May 13th, 2018. Yes, because what happened was they canceled it. Yeah. And then there was a letter writing campaign and NBC brought it back and then they canceled it. And then yesterday they announced, "Okay, here's the deal. We're going to give you guys a two hour series finale from NBC for them yes so NBC and the production company struck a deal that will allow them to make a film length made for TV movie kind of two-parter episode that will wrap up the storyline for of Timeless. Timeless that'll be in December and it'll have all seven regular cast members with it you know what's funny about that that's enough to make me go back and watch it now is if it, you're t- <laughs> it, it kind of is because if you're telling me like hey there'll be closure <laughs> we're gonna wrap it up this thing is gonna last like okay that's I think fine. that's a nice touch because uh, you no offense to all of our shows here but we watch we tend to watch dramas or shows from other countries where they don't go for the we got to keep these series going for years right. and years and years like they'll do a couple of episodes and then maybe come back another year or they'll do like 16 episodes and that's it the show is completely over never comes back again here we're like well we've got to make sure it gets so many seasons for um syndication, for syndication sure. and stuff and so i feel like they run these shows to the ground but then everybody's so tired of it you don't get any closure at the end so this is a nice touch i i like Very it successful for the fans I'm interested. It's on Hulu, which I still have for like a couple more weeks. See, I'm canceling everything. You're, canceling, you're getting out of everything. Uh, so maybe <laughs> I'll uh, dip in and give this a couple more episodes and see how it goes. But yeah, I thought that was cool. Uh, fans actually getting what they want. Who else just did that? Netflix just did that with Sense8. Mm-hmm. And there's one other show that just got a, okay, we'll let you wrap it up kind of thing. Which is Boy, a nice touch. <laughs> I can think of several shows. I wish they could get that. <laughs> Aww. Well, this, it'll air in December. Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Come on. <laughs> Worst of the riot, not enough. Not enough. Check the blog and all things riot at riot.radiou.com. It is the riot. <laughs> hey. Over here. Over here. Wake up. Over here. I'm sorry. I just had a bread bowl. (laughs) I I love bread bowls. This thing would have been amazing. I can't stay away. Oh, there is uh, news about uh, the place I would normally get a bread bowl back in the day. 
Uh, back, was back before you gave up bread. <laughs> back in the bread bowl uh, era was Panera. They always had a pretty good one. Oh, yeah. And now Panera, there's been talks that in some locations they are testing or trying out a double bread bowl. Shut up. And so you're like, what's that? Shut up. Basically think it's a long piece of bread and uh-huh. then they take out uh, and hollow out two sides. So like each side of it. And then you could have mac and cheese and soup or two different types of soups so it's smaller like space probably equals about the same as like one of their large bread bowls Mm -hmm. but you can have more than one item you know what i was thinking when you told me it before i saw the photo of you like they're doing a double bread bowl i just imagine a bread bowl with a smaller bread bowl inside (laughs) no no it's not like that it's like a a big large uh wider baguette sort of style and then again the two sides taken out almost like a submarine sandwich yeah in some ways and then they fill it up hollowed out so they're testing the new double bread bowl and then that way you can choose what you want in it Mm. and that's something as a possibility at panera so you feel like that that passes inspection um oh yeah again i bread bowls (laughs) Surprised we don't eat our plates and bowls more often. Well, to me, the bread bowl seems like an ecologically friendly solution. It you, does. You're Less baking the, the bread. You like that means there isn't <laughs> anything that's going in the landfill. You're eating all of well, it. Well, that's because it's going on your body. Well. <laughs> But you know what, Nikki? You can carry that around. That's not waste. And eventually you die and become fertilizer. True. Whatever. So Panera so is testing it in Philadelphia from August 5th through the 31st. Um, and that's where it'll be testing in cafes and then their delivery. And then they'll decide if it goes nationwide after that. So if you're in Philly... August 5th through 31st, you can try the double bread bread bowl. Well, you love Philadelphia. You're such a huge fan. Born and raised. Just go ahead and get over there. And yeah, get your, I'll try it. <laughs> get your Philly double bread bowl on. Head on over, get a <laughs> cheesesteak sandwich. <laughs> Man, you think they sell cheesesteak at Panera? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, they probably sell cheesesteak at every single restaurant in Philadelphia. Dude, I got to tell you this, though. For the Panera delivery, mm-hmm. them delivery drivers in our area in Panera, you guys go fast. <laughs> You are quick. A little not too like, fast? Not like, oh, you got your food quickly? You're like, no, we live near one, or we, our studios are near one. Yeah. And man, those those guys are, they're on it. They're fast. A little too fast. A little too quick on that. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, I appreciate that. Mm. And I appreciate a good, gosh, an Asiago cheese bagel. You slice it, get it toasted, and then have some cream cheese for it. What if you had a double bread bowl, a mm-hmm. little mac and cheese, mm-hmm. some sort of soup? Mm-hmm. And then you topped it with an Asiago cheese bagel. Fantastic. I'm in. That is a lot of bread. Though, to be honest, I could be just as happy with the bagel and with just With the bagel on. and nothing else? Yeah. Because <laughs> I used to do bread bowls, and then I realized that I actually like getting a bowl of soup with a bread bowl more or with a... Uh, bread on the side? Bread on the side than I did the actual okay, bowl. Okay, then what about the Asiago cheese bagel with mac and cheese in the middle? Sure, I'll eat that. Okay. Because, man, if you, you guys ever eat your bread bowl at Panera, that is a chewy affair. It is. <laughs> Like, excuse me, especially we would always go take bands or like have a meeting there. And it was so embarrassing. Be like, excuse me while I eat my bowl. Don't mind me. <laughs> but I am eating it. <laughs> Your morning, but without yelling, laughing, or music. Don't deprive me of that. We wouldn't dream of it. It's the riot on Radio U. If you guys didn't get the disappointing news, the memo, it's not July anymore. It's August now. The worst. <laughs> We're now officially into the worst. Do you guys know why August is such a bad month? I have a list, but this is not even on my list. It's the heat. It's going to be, it'll probably be the it'll hottest month of the year. Roar it, back for some areas, still still be there in other areas. I mean, I suppose, you know, it's possible to have a mild August. I've been a part of one before. It was a misnomer. I don't know what happened, but August is typically the hottest month of the year. Sure. Uh, I know sometimes it's July, but whatever. So it's hot. But the part that I don't understand, and maybe I should, is there's freaks out there. <laughs> a bunch of weirdos like the heat, <laughs> want it to be warm outside. I don't understand them. I don't. Uh, But some people are into heat tourism. What's that? They want to go to places where it's really, really hot. That's why Death Valley is a thing. People like to going vacation to Death Va- there? Yes, they do. What's to do with the vacation? Go there and I guess sweat. Walk around? I don't know. Well, like, maybe it's uh, here's medical, a picture. like you're supposed to sweat out toxins and stuff. Here's a picture of a couple that is getting their picture taken next to the big temperature thermo- thermometer in Death Valley. They're on their honeymoon. Oh. Well, all right. On July 26th, it was 130 degrees. Ooh, in Death that Valley. would be an amazing picture to get, though. 
I agree. Which would be why maybe you would go there. Maybe why you would go there. But you realize, okay, most air conditioners are rated, they take 20 degrees off of the heat. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what car air conditioners are rated at, but the air conditioner in your house basically can cool it down 20 degrees. So that means that it could be a whopping 86 that's not good enough, guys. Not going to help. <laughs> not good enough. Um, so it turns out that Death Valley has now recorded its hottest month ever uh, in July. It averaged 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, just to be clear, we've only kept records For of so the long. temperatures in Death Valley since 1960. So a lot of our meteorological data goes back to uh, the 1860s or 70s. So, what I mean, studying the weather and keeping accurate records, not really that old of a science. Yeah. Not when you consider, I mean, it's not that old. So this is even younger, like back to the 60s as far back as it goes. And they say that even some of that data might be a little sketchy. Now, they were also saying that... Earlier this year in Iran, they were saying like they had recorded the hottest monthly average at a particular place there, but they did some digging and realized that the data was off. One of the weather stations there that was reporting temperatures was, they was doing stuff, it doing incorrectly. It so mm. they pulled that record back and now Death Valley, Death Valley has Valley, it. Average temperature. USA. Average temperature. We got it back. Woo! We did it. We did it, guys. We did Congratulations, it. Death Valley. Oh, you're number one. <laughs> if you said to me, hey, do you want to go somewhere that's really hot? I'd just smack you and walk away. <laughs> it's like how how can or where can we go that, you know, it's cooler? That's shut, why you're like, yeah, I will go to the movies or shut your filthy mouth. You just go to the freezer section and open the doors. Exactly that. Like, hey guys, I'll be in you know I used to work at a farm market. Do you know we take our breaks sometimes in the cooler? Not the freezer. It was like 20 degrees in there. You'd die. <laughs> but the cooler part was just nice. In fact, the freezer door was really thick. I was always afraid I'd get locked in oh, there. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. But oh, the cooler. Tell somebody that you're in there. Like, hey, everybody, if you don't see me after break, <laughs> come get me. You're where I'm at. The riot used to be three people. Please tell me we're not discussing video games again. Uh, the other guy didn't make it. It's the riot. All right, guys. Have you started making your Thanksgiving plans yet? Nikki has. I just signed up. Nikki just signed up for a race. I've never done a race before. I've only like run our races. And by run, I mean like set organize, up, organize, right. put on our Radio U5K. But I've never been in a race. Right. And so I wanted to pick a goal and I wanted to do a turkey trot. Fantastic. So a Thanksgiving one. November. Yeah. So I picked one and I just signed up. Fantastic. I'm excited for Yay. you. And you know what? That's a great... I, I always say I'm going to do a turkey trot, but the thing is, is that I do a donut drop. That's your Thanksgiving tradition. It is a Thanksgiving tradition. In my family, what we do is we go get donuts on Wednesday to try to get them as fresh as we can. And then on Thursday morning, <laughs> you wake we up. eat donuts, do Christmas shopping, and watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Yeah. Because, you know... It's Black Friday deals online, and then, of course, the parade, and you have donuts, and that's what we do. Seems like a good plan. Now, when I'm sitting there with my butt on the couch, Nikki's going to be her butt at the trot. I'll be trying it for the first time. That's fantastic. Yay. So what kind of goods do you get for that? Uh, you get a shirt, you get a medal, which, believe it or not, I wanted one, because <laughs> I have medals upstairs, again, only because I've put on races. This will be one that this you've earned. This is one earned. that I've earned That's in a right. different way. I earn the others. You know, I well, worked. you know. Uh, but I'll earn it from participating As a participant, yeah. in the race. And then you get a pie. It's awesome. And <laughs> pie. And I'll just tell you, after your turkey trot, you deserve that pie. Oh, yeah. I can have some. <laughs> even though that crust, it contains whatever it uh, contains. Yeah, we won't even think about it that day. You should have some pie. Yeah, so yeah, I'm excited. I followed through and I set a goal and I'm doing something. That's fantastic. Now, have you? do you have a training schedule? I downloaded or? the the couch thing, yeah. the couch to 5K training yep. thing. So that should do it. Guys, you know what? It was just a couple years ago I did my first one. And I did the same thing, couch to 5K. And but I'm making Eric do it with me. I don't want to do it by myself. <laughs> so he's going to run with me. Eric loves endurance sports. And he's probably fa- he's way faster than me, but he's going to have to slow down and stay with me the entire thing. You know what? That's okay. Yeah, like pretty that- much hold my hand. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. I'm excited for you. That's great. Like, I think you're going to have a fantastic time. And 
We might have to find somebody else to sit the table at the Radio U 5K. Oh, yeah. If next year I'll do it, we'll see. might have see. to be out there. But so. I wanted to, wanted to try it, and I thought a Thanksgiving one would be a nice thing. I have no Thanksgiving traditions on Thanksgiving Day. Well, I was going to so say, open. your family traditions, you guys typically get together on other Another days. Another day, yeah. Yeah. So, so it's so open. Get a load of this. Do you guys see how the riot's already planning out the holiday season? It's August. And we're like, hey, you know what? Thanksgiving. Hey, I knew if I didn't register, I would just talk myself out of it. So it's nice to start thinking about November things already. I actually think that if you are, like Nikki, thinking about any kind of a race in the fall, register as soon as you can. Because once you get it on the calendar, you will train for it. Sure. Like, you will. I, I've i experienced that so many times. If I'm iffy on an event and I haven't registered, I'm like, ah, I'll get to it. <laughs> and then you never will. But if it's on the calendar, it's like, bro. It's there. Uh, get out there. Like, we got to get out there and get ready for it. So, well, you know what? I'm excited over the next four months for us to get ready Isn't for this. Is it that far away? August, August September, September, October, October November. November. Three and a half. <laughs> it's a long time. You got plenty of time. That feeling when you hear that every school in the state is closed but yours? Now you know how we feel. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Do you ever wonder... Is Canada Dry really Canadian? <laughs> is it really? Or is it just something that you say? Do Canada Dry, I could put that back. Is Canada Dry really <laughs> ginger ale? <laughs> that stuff's good. Or is it just something that you say? Or something that you just, uh, you know, have on a plane? Maybe your <laughs> stomach's not feeling good? <laughs> I couldn't tell you the last time I had ginger ale. But would you ever have it when you're flying? No. Really? That's how I would always I remember it. a brief flirtation with Canada Dry when I was in junior high. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I love this stuff. You know, I had a lot of brief flirtations in junior high, mostly because, well, I won't tell you. Let's just say they weren't interested. So Canada Dry is getting sued in the state of New York. You know why? My, my, my. My, my, Canada Dry. <laughs> Uh, there's a woman there, Julie Fletcher, who is suing, and she's suing the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, who owns Canada Dry, saying, hey, guys, there's not any ginger in here. At least not very much. Because it's, you know, a ginger ale. So she says that if you, I love all this, or the argument she's got out here. She said if you go back to 2007, uh-huh. they began putting a major emphasis in their marketing about how Canada Dry contains ginger. And that it was a healthier alternative to soda. Oh, really? She said she began buying it for her children, especially when they were sick, to calm her their, their stomach. Yeah. And so that's what she was getting it for, because I guess that's something Ginger does. Uh, so uh, she has finally realized, a.k.a. read the ingredients on the side of the can. And, and as a lawyer friend. And she's like, wait a minute. This is just carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, preservatives, and natural flavors. Usually with companies, it is a lot of times the marketing that gets them in trouble. Mm -hmm. And if this is the case, then she feels lied to and and that it doesn't have the ginger stuff in there, which is true because I totally got ginger ale like i got a different version of it non-canada yes. dry man that stuff is nasty very different and it taste, tastes huh? nothing like canada dry okay and i was like what is this i thought it was all the same thing but it's not i'd be interested a ginger s- soda is different i'd like to know what that tastes like like an actual hey this is old school ginger ale what we does that taste like like it Probably not. No. <laughs> but if but if it maybe that would actually calm your stomach down. Yeah, because it's threatening. Uh, it's so bad tasting. <laughs> you go in there and your stomach's like, all right, everybody, shut up. We're not. Shut dr- up. We do not want any more of this. He called us on it and he didn't get the Canada dry. He got the other stuff. So you know what? We're done. <laughs> We're done here. Everybody just back it down. Go, ba- go back to your places. Back it down. <laughs> If this like, app- if it kind of felt like when you would try to be healthier and like, oh, I'm getting the healthier version of the soda that I love. And it's not. And it's not the same. And something tastes very wrong. Mm-hmm. So uh, they say the Dr. Pepper Snapple group who owns Canada Dry, they're like, listen, that natural flavors, that's where the ginger is. But we don't list it. We just say natural flavors. And she's like, uh-uh. It's five parts per million. I had it tested in a lab. There is no, no way, nearly no ginger in this soda whatsoever. So they're going to court. Here's what's interesting. There are two other lawsuits just like this 
pending in other states, Massachusetts and California. I still feel like this lawsuit feels like someone who goes around and sues. Looking for a lawsuit. Yeah, like you're yeah. finding a big company who you can go after with uh, with what might be a lawsuit that would pay out. I say you're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Like, that's what it feels like. But, you know, Nikki, maybe this lady is trying to give her children ginger for their stomachs. I, I don't think so. You got to bring the children in. <laughs> it's for the kids. It's for the kids. And their stomachs. Their <laughs> little kid stomachs. Remember, if you can just make it through the rest of the riot, then you can probably make it through the rest of the week. <laughs> And through the next several months. And then it'll practically be Christmas. The Riot on Radio U. So, Nikki, I don't know if you were catching all the big news about Chipotle. Yes, Chipotle had a troublesome day again yesterday. They did. So there is a Chipotle in Columbus, Ohio, or more technically Powell, Ohio. And they are saying that they have had a case of food poisoning there where there were Somewhere north of 300 people. It's one to where Thursday. when I last heard it was like over 200. Mm-hmm. Uh, that but number yes, is growing. People are saying like families. Just you go in and and everybody. An entire family of six. Is everybody was getting sick from that. And so it had to close down as they were, I don't know, investigating or looking into it. And that has caused uh, Chipotle's um, value to go down. One of the things that we have discussed on this show that I just keep getting a vivid image of. Let's say you're a family of six. You have two bathrooms. <laughs> And all had been punished. And you've got six (laughs) people with food poisoning. Like, what do you do? Who has six bathrooms? No one has that. And you're all like, you know how it is. Like, everybody's sick. Everybody is very sick. There are sinks involved. (laughs) There are sinks. Hey, you throw up at the sink. That's true. I prefer that instead of the toilet. Nikki is a sink thrower upper. She stands at the sink, stomps one foot, and screams, come on, and throws up. (laughs) If I'm sick. Bro, I mean, yeah, it's not an everyday not everything, thing. I mean, it's not like, hey, it's Tuesday. Who's ready to I, hit I feel the sink? more uncomfortable throwing up at the, the toilet than I do. The sink just feels more comfortable to me. It just depends on how if you're cleaning that toilet. I yeah. get that. I mean. Uh, but there has not been really much more details except the number, the fact that it's growing for the people that they believe were afflicted at Chipotle from that location. You know where this all started? Mm -mm. I mean, aside from at the Chipotle where everyone was getting sick, there's a website called IWasPoisoned.com, and you can go there and report food poisoning, and they will send your report to different places. Yeah. And I, they seem to be a third party. I don't think it's like a government thing, but you can do that. And you can also, if you're willing to share your info with them, which is probably what they really want, but you can actually ask them if there's an incident of food poisoning in your area, they will email it to you mm. to let you know that it happened. And just in case, I want to know what does Chipotle do allegedly or whatever? Like, what is it from these locations that get a mass amount of people sick. Is the lettuce? Is it, well, this is how we make this certain food, or do they just not have a very good cleaning thing? Or what do they think is why Chipotle always has this problem? Well, here's the thing that I saw was that that particular Chipotle had been cited for food that was above temperature. So it could be could that. be something like that. They, they actually were cited for that, I think, last week. So that maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Just but speculation. I, but I was just wondering, why do they always get this problem? What is it about their setup that has this issue? Yeah. And it's enough to make me. I'm telling you guys, I don't want to go to Chipotle anymore. <laughs> I know. That's why they have this problem. I went a couple of weeks ago and yes, I was fine. But how many weeks go by without yet another Chipotle food poisoning thing? I'm sure they love to hear that. <laughs> Please talk about it more. All right, why don't you shut that man up on the radio? <laughs> man, I want to report my botulism cheese, but it's probably been too long yeah, for me to report it. Yeah, when you it. got that. Well, I'll tell you that what, next from time. That was Chipotle. That was from the movie theater. Next time that happens. <laughs> You're I'm going there. I'm putting it on the site for sure. Uh, Nikki and Obadiah. Obadiah and Nikki. Love, hate, hate, love. All right, everyone in. Let's go. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Nikki? Yes. Obadiah? Yes. <laughs> and the fellows from Danger Scene? Yes. Hi guys. So the first thing they said when they walked in, <laughs> the first thing they said was that they had a real rivalry going right now. <sighs> I already regret saying that. <laughs> 
Well, I'm sure that you do. But You're not supposed I, to share items like that so quick when you walk into yeah. the room. Because he's walked into an interview. We're in a rivalry. Right, he's going to latch on to it, and of course he's going to run with it. So this is Michael and Machu from Danger Scene. Good morning. I think I'm going to start calling you that all the Machu time. Machu is Machu. my Pokemon version oh, of yeah. Is it? It's cool. Nice, yeah. nice. So there is no rivalry, though. Like, no, everything's really. good today. No. Nikki, don't okay. let him walk out but, of it. Oh. Let us walk out of it, please. <laughs> this is good cop, bad cop right here. Yeah, basically. I am the good one. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys fighting about right now? Um, About whether we have a rivalry. Okay. Actually, we're fighting about the fact that I broke our phone holder in our van, and he's upset that he has to fix it because I have no skills. Uh, so what's the phone holder? What do you mean? Like, like it just like, the attaches to the yeah, dash or something? Absolutely. I, and I broke it, and I just kind of forgot to mention it to him for like two weeks until we finally are on the road, and now... He's got to fix it because I don't know how to do that. Uh, I was going to say, if it was that important, I mean, we would have noticed earlier that it was broken. But you mean just because now you're on tour. That's about the only things that we're fighting about uh, right now. That's it. Okay. What were you fighting about a week ago? Oh, stop it. <laughs> a week ago. Um, <laughs> hmm. See, the thing is, you guys might not know this about Danger Scene, but they're brothers. And so I love hearing about whatever their bubby fights are. Brother The brother rivalry. fights? Yeah. 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 Well, I like to hear about that kind of stuff. Some people, some brothers get along fine. It's, Not every it, band that has in, brothers in, in it. books and on and TV. <laughs> sure they do. I think Not it's more life. mild annoyances. Like, he has to listen to me talk about me golfing all the time. Wait, and, you're a golfer? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> If I not, could go, if not I could even, go pro. Not even a little bit, guys. He's like, yes, All the way. I am a golfer. If you ask him, you, you, that's when you'll hear him be a little annoyed and be like, it's the most annoying thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you just not like anything with golf? Or? No, golf is fine. Yeah. I just, you but just don't Michael, like your brother. <laughs> that's, it, that's exactly I what just, it is. No, Michael is to the point where. Do you hear it, guys, in his voice? <laughs> Michael will wake up like. At five in the morning to start watching golf, and then you'll wake up and he'll have to tell you everything that happened before seven a.m. Well, or, that's because you're, he's you're, excited about it. Michael, he's got to share. Michael plays golf and then has to tell you about every hole, and then watches golf and has to tell you about every hole. Aww. Wait, you Aww. watch just golf on so TV? Oh yeah, oh, really? Like, okay, so and the, you can stay awake. They for just that? had the Open Championship, which is my favorite tournament because it starts at like two in the morning. Live, mm. yeah. and so like I will, I will be that person that stays up until two in the morning, and they stay awake as long as possible to watch to live watch golf. So is that because it's in like some other country? Yeah, or like, something it, was like in, that? it was in Scotland, and so like I, lo- I just love the idea of staying up and watching live golf. For, like Ye- that's exciting to me. I mean, real talk. I should introduce you to my mom because uh, <laughs> my my Let's mom go. my mom loves to watch golf on TV, and I'll tell you what else she watches on TV: bowling. Uh oh. You are just no. oh, lighting oh a fire gosh. right now. You watch bowling on I TV watch too? anything. So wait, you are Obi's mom then. Yeah. You're my Basically. Mom. <laughs> like during the Olympics when it was on last year or whatever, I was watching curling absolutely really? all night. All uh, night. Well, see, like I feel like mm. curling is a different story because that's a there's a national weirdness to it. Well, it's a fascination. True. It's like when you just can't stop staring at it, like what are they doing? But yeah. it seems like you go for No, I'm the guy that's into it though. Like I'm like like jumping off the couch like, when you know, like they throw a stone and it gets so it knocks two out. May like, I ask then what's your passion when it comes to like sports that are maybe a bit more popular, like college football all or of it. Bas- you so, Michael's okay, a sports, so you do love sports, like, sports everything. All oh, yeah. okay. Everybody knows that person can, that has like the jersey that like gets everything the sports related and like sits on the couch and just watches their team and like cheers and jumps and spills popcorn everywhere, but they're kind of by themselves. That's Michael with everything. About like if, if golf had a jersey, like, <laughs> it does. It's like a polo thing. Yeah, yeah. And I have that. Michael wake up, put his polo on, All right, and he'll go out and, and watch it. I yeah. can watch poker on TV. It's easy. It's really, anything. Wow. Just, and, okay, but like, let me go back to this. I've got a friend of mine who likes to watch NASCAR, but the only reason he watches NASCAR is because it makes it really easy for him to take a nap. <laughs> So, okay. do you watch it with the anticipation of, hey, I'm turning on bowling, but I'm really just going to go to sleep? No. It's no. just that exciting. You are fascinating, <laughs> it's really? It's just, that's the other, but outside of music, like, that's, that's my, the, the most exciting thing in my life. Okay. Well, that either got you some more Danger Scene fans or, or people are like, everybody. I, people are like, we can't, we can't deal with that. Hey, guys, I was coming to the show, but <laughs> golf is on. Golf so is on. I, just, I, I would, I'd be like, I understand. Yeah. That's okay. It's, you made a good choice. If I wasn't here, I would be doing that as well. <laughs> 
Why don't you go find a place that has golf on right Also, there? you guys have Top Golf like right around the corner. Yeah. Have you done that? No, not yet. What, what is that? What? What? What it's, is? What is Top Golf? Top never, Golf you've is literally golf never... meets bowling. Mm-hmm. Top, yeah, it's it's like a driving range, but it's where like it's got scoring systems and like you go out with a bunch of friends and you can order food. And that one there is, is not open. It's not open. It's yet? not open okay. yet. But no, yes. so, wait, okay, wait. Is that that thing? Because they're building something yeah. that's like a couple of streets over from us. Is huge, that what you're huge talking? Nets. Yes. Yeah. It's oh, not, yeah. It's not open yet. And Top Golf. You're. You're. It's going to be packed for months upon months upon months because it's like it's where you go to hang out with people for like a couple months. Like everybody's going to be doing it. Uh, you know Are you sure? Trust me. You don't, you, don't, okay. you don't have to. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, Matt, do you think that everybody's going to be top golfing? Because I, I want to hear. Top golf is fun. Don't get okay. me wrong. Okay. We have one in Nashville. You don't even have to golf. And yeah, because you bring you in can... the friend element, the social element. That's right. it's, it's like bowling. Like, you can be not good at bowling and still, still have a lot have of fun. time. Okay. Yeah. And that's that's the best thing is like, again, I, I tell people, I'm like, if you don't want to like go golfing on a course, Start with Top Golf because you're gonna have a blast because you're gonna miss the ball and all your friends are gonna make fun of you and yet <laughs> just everybody has a, a good time. time. Like it doesn't really matter. Like it's, <laughs> okay. it's just for fun. Okay. All right, well, try I, once it opens. I'll tell you right now that I feel like I've learned more about you guys in the last six I do minutes too, than we and, ever have. And the rivalry you don't have <laughs> than anything I've learned up but to this point. But the sports that some of you love. So <laughs> mm-hmm. absolutely. Hey, so Matt, why did you just? Why did you the say The rivalry sh- we don't have, yeah. you know. Yeah, sh- <laughs> We don't talk about that yet. Everybody be quiet about it. I know, I know. You hate the riot. Why are they on the radio? Stupid. Yeah. Honestly, we can't trust them with anything else. It's the riot on Radio U. Joining us in the studio, it is the riot. Uh, brothers Matt and Mike and their golf fans. And that's all we <laughs> know so far. Danger scene as well. I think that's the most important thing. Oh, wait. You guys are in a band? Sometimes. Is that true? Sometimes, every Sometimes. so often. Okay, we all should right. Start a band. We should start a band. What if we started a band right here on the radio right now? Okay, all right. Let's do it. Okay, let's, let's pick a genre. It. What are we gonna do? What do you guys uh, want to do? Polka, polka hardcore. Uh, no, okay. that's polka core. But yeah, okay, I, sure. That's yeah. been done. But if you want to jump into the scene, and then like, you that can. That is my favorite type of music. Don't, don't, don't judge that. Well, the only thing I will tell you is that if that's what you guys want to get into. That is a very small, like, niche genre kind of thing. Like, it's very hard to break into, but once you do, You're in. it's so lucrative. There's so much money <laughs> You're in Polka Core. That's right. As long as you get in. Yeah, some, you guys someone would not out there it. now is like, is there? Because we could switch. We could totally move the band to that. I oh. mean, if you consider Polish sausages to be wealth, <laughs> then I'll tell you right now, Polka Core. I do. I do. That is we your thing. We were just talking about how wealthy Polish sausages uh, Honestly, we were starting. We we're starting to wonder, like, should we just start getting paid in Polish sausages yeah. instead oh, of money? If it's, that would be it's the easier. currency of the future. It is. Yeah. I mean, it's Bitcoin for a new generation. Yeah, exactly. It absolutely <laughs> is. So, you know what? We've spent the entire time talking about Michael. Matt, what about you? You you good? I'm, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have anything annoying that I do? <laughs> No. Good. No. This is great. He's Let's move on. He's, he's, an, there he's an angel child, and I love him very much. Aww. Oh, so he's the youngest. No, actually, he's the oldest. Oh. Here's your $10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pay up. I said it on air. We've got it. We'll send we you the proof. recording later. You can keep it forever. Exactly. <laughs> so let's get into band business. How is Danger Scene? Danger Scene is exciting right now. Yeah. So you um, just started on tour? You just started to go out? Yeah, we've got a couple dates here and there. Obviously, Consuming Fire Festival is coming up, so we're super excited about that since we played last year. Um, so we're super excited to like see all the kids and see all the people there for that one again. Um, but yeah, like um, I think what's most exciting, we have new music that's coming up soon yeah it's okay. yeah, we, we just we have it you guys don't yet so like we get to like jam <laughs> we it for can a little fix bit that because we're right here I know, right? I know. It's the long it. process of getting it all done and sure. finished yeah. and polished yeah. and um but yeah we recorded a bunch of songs over at uh at michael tate's place yeah and then, um yeah is that just like his house when he wasn't there you just break <laughs> pretty in much night, you're like you just hey this guy's got a great <laughs> studio it's at his house he has a studio at his house and he would just like pop in and be like hey guys what's hey guys, up what's yeah. up like, like 
Hey guys, DC Talk News Boy, see ya. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That That's all it, it is. Yeah. And get... we tried to get him to guest on one of our songs and just <laughs> No go on that. No go on that. Uh-huh. He was like, hey, you know what, guys, bowling's he been on. I gotta do him when he was popping in and put that in the song. That's what, just his yeah. greeting. Hey guys, uh, <laughs> featuring Michael so, Tate. So for the danger scene, like are you guys just doing a song or do you have a few or we've what? got a few songs. A few songs, okay. And, yeah. yeah. It's uh we, we've been using a new producer this time and so it's going to be a little bit different but it's i think it's more pop sensible and um wait is that a genre pop sensible pop sensible <laughs> yeah is that a thing uh, yeah it, you look it, it up now. on itunes yeah, yeah. it is now okay it will be. all right polka core pop sensible yeah like it's the new hotness oh yeah that's what we go for yeah yeah you gotta, you gotta create something new Absolutely. So no, it's, it's you said it's more pop sensible. And- yeah, I mean, we, it's still it's still you know it's still electronic and rock and but like um, it's definitely it definitely feels a little bit different from the stuff that we've done before because if you know use, when you use somebody new as a producer, you know it's gonna you're gonna create something that's different. which yeah. is it's really exciting for us because you know it'll be a new sh- version of us. So we're we're ecstatic to you know. Hear what people think. We and- keep on sitting on it, and honestly, we're gonna <laughs> is it play like ready our- to go, or like, are you just waiting for the the right moment? We we want to do all the stuff. Like we want to you know shoot music videos, yeah. and like we want to have all the media for it. Not like I'm at the I'm at the point where I want to just be like, here, have it, just have it, sure. like listen. But like we also know that you know we want to prepare it before. You want to have sure. a, a big plan for yeah, everything exactly. at the same time. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. We <laughs> are playing a lot of those songs live. Though. Yeah. Like tonight, so. we'll, tonight we'll be playing all three new songs at Scully's. Okay, like super excited. So for Radio U Columbus, if you're listening, eighty eight seven, Danger Scene is performing at Scully's tonight, and then like we mentioned for the Consuming Music Fire Festival, that's coming up in a couple of weeks, and that will exactly. be in Newark, Ohio. Yes, yeah. indeed. You can grab details at radiou.com. So guys, what about you? Said you're playing tonight, and uh, we're going to hear some of that stuff. Do you guys have a Everybody hates to hear the question, but do you have a general idea as to when maybe we're going to see some of this stuff? For everybody who like, can't go to it, the show? Like, let me put it to you this way. Is there, am I going to get Christmas presents before I hear new <laughs> Danger Scene music? No. Okay, before yeah, yeah. then? You'll get it before Christmas. The okay. Christmas, we'll give you an early Christmas Unless present. Unless we give you really early Christmas presents. Yeah. Okay. All right. Which you, could happen. You know? Okay. What, uh, what do you have in that bag? Yeah. Also, what do you want for Christmas? Okay. Like... Me personally? Yes, absolutely. Um, I'll tell you what. I am I want Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Is that okay. what it's called? I want that for Christmas. It comes out in October, but I'm going to wait. Wait for Christmas <laughs> Save to it get for it. Christmas. That's going to be tough. Yeah, and then uh, I want E.T. on Blu-ray, and uh, that's bl- you know 4K weird Blu-ray. Is you have the uh, ideas already forming in your head. <laughs> like you're he ready to go. He knew this stuff last yeah, year. Yeah, he's ready to go. Well, we just came out of Christmas, Christmas in, in July. July. That's true. And the funny thing is, I made this Christmas in July gift list and didn't get a single oh, thing. No. <laughs> I don't understand why nobody bought me anything for Christmas in July. Well, well so now the, it may be August, but in my bag, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to believe this. Guess what I have? I sent them your list early. ET on Blu-ray. <laughs> I bought it for myself, but <laughs> that's incredible! Know. Yay! <laughs> this is the best August first ever. Suddenly, he's like, "Why is Radio U playing nothing but Danger Scene for the next couple of days?" <laughs> that's <laughs> what we got to do. It's like, well, Obi got Blu-ray, so he's fine. It's good. <laughs> Well, guys, so tonight you're playing Scully's in Columbus. Yes, sir. New music before Christmas. Yep. Uh, anything else you guys want to get out? Maybe just smack each other so there's a new rivalry, like, here now? Do it. Or a hug. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, the hug. You guys want to see Which is real... amazing. The only reason he hugged me is because he's had Starbucks this morning. So. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> and I've had water, so that's that's the only reason. Okay, wait, then I'm going to have to ask. Like, he said Starbucks and you said, you've had water. Why haven't you had Starbucks? Because I'm not a coffee person. Well, technically, so what do you drink it instead? is Starbucks. Water. It, it is, is Star- Starbucks water. It's Starbucks so water. It's, it's fancy water. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They they love you. When you oh, roll yeah. up, and you're like, yeah, can I just get a cup of water? Hey, <laughs> yeah, hey. here. Corporate says we have to give <laughs> it to you. Just take your water. Okay? <laughs> hey, just, just know that we tip when we get buy coffee. So that's good. They, that's what they really care about. That's great. Yeah. You're a tipper. We're I'm service just like, we're service industry people in background, so yeah, we absolutely tip. That's okay. good. If you well, ever if you ever serve us, you're gonna enjoy serving us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, we, guys? we make it worth your while. Okay, good. You know what? Uh, here's what we need to do. We need to send them out to lunch with our boss, Michael. Oh. 
he's because the opposite. He's the opposite. Like, oh, we'll, he, we'll teach him how. He does tip and everything. It's he not tips. like he doesn't do that, but he, he just tips. can't. He just doesn't. I don't know. He just doesn't do it well. It's like this. He gives money tips, but he also gives a lot of tips on hey, how to you serve. You were great. You <laughs> were wonderful. <laughs> Also, no. that's your tip. No. 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 He, he, a lot of, he does a lot of food changes. Maybe if you brought me some ranch. Yeah, he does oh, a lot of food changes, no. and it's it's just a thing. I waited yeah. two minutes to refill this water that wasn't empty. Yeah. You know, it's going to cost you a little bit. Well. Wait, is that, do I, is Michael here? <laughs> Do I hear him now? <laughs> no, she might be driving in. <laughs> okay, all right. My bad. My bad. So. Well, stay up to date for Danger Scene, of course, through RadioU.com. And then that way you'll know first when the new music comes out. Absolutely. We'll make sure to tell everybody. And guys, thank you so much for stopping in this morning. Thank Thanks you for, for having, having us. us. Anytime. The Riot. They hate me. They hate you. They hate us. Why else would they make us listen to the worst of the riot? Radio U. Okay, Nikki, hypothetical, not hypothetical situation. Yeah. Goes like this. Let's say you host a morning show, (laughs) uh, which means that you're out a lot earlier than a lot of other people are. Sure. And you've decided that uh, one of the ways you want to be your best, one of the ways you want to seize the day is that you get up in the morning and you run before your show. Yeah, you get your workout exercise in ahead of time. So you're out running in your neighborhood, as you often are, at about 4.30 a.m. And there's, I mean, there are rabbits, maybe. <laughs> like, nobody's up. Nothing's happening. And you run past a friend's house. Yeah. And their front door is open and all the lights are on. Yeah. What do you do at that point? What do you do? You should go ring the bell. I should? Yeah. Even that early in the morning? Yeah. Well, if all the lights on are and the doors open, for sure you should. Yeah. I was real did not, you not do that? sure what to do. Well, I'll tell you what I did. I finished my run. Yeah. I went home because my thought was like, hey, maybe they're going on a trip. They're leaving early. They're loading out or something. Let's benefit it of, of the doubt, this thing. Yeah. Uh, so then I went up, took my shower, whatever, got in my car, drove down past their house again. Lights are still on, doors still open. And I'm just like, but the cars are there. It's so weird. Like, they're, but you want to make sure no one broke in and like they're upstairs sleeping. I didn't know what to do. I've never been in their house before. We're not that good of friends. Yeah, but that's why you ring the bell. Or do you, you don't have their number? I Can did. Can you Facebook them? I did. <laughs> so, like, I, I was just like, okay, um, I'm going to text them. Yeah. My roommates are still home. So, like, I could text your roommate and say, hey, you need to go down to so-and-so's house and, and shut the door. Um, but I only just now heard from them. I, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, Everything's okay, fine. Okay, Everything's fine. They just uh, left the door open and the lights on? Basically, I love this so much. They're out of town. They had somebody checking on their house. So the person, oh my gosh. The person <laughs> who was the there open. to check on their house left the lights on and the door open basically all night. I'd be so mad. I would be so, so mad. I don't even know what to do with that. I That's love not it even so my house much. and I can't even process that. I love that. it so much. So they, they did they, not. They get a fail. Not the yeah, homeowners, I mean, but the people that got to come look at it. Oh, you should keep an eye on the house. I will now. Yeah. Every every morning at about 430. You should take a look. I have neighbors like the guy always leaves his garage open. Yes. And, and I think that's weird because, you know, you could just walk in the house through the garage or take the garage stuff. Yeah. But he that. just does it a lot. I, and I, I never know if I should go and shut the garage. Like, I don't know him that well, but I, know. I could shut the garage when I leave in the morning. But. That's not my job. I've had a similar thought. I also, okay, this probably sounds terrible, but I've got a guy who lives across the street from me who never leaves his garage open ever. And I went to bed one night and it was open and I got up the next day and it was still open. You're like, what's wrong? I actually thought I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, you just don't know. I talked myself into the fact that he might be dead or hurt. And I finally went over and rang the doorbell and he just came to the door. He's like, hey man, what's up? And I was like, well... You know, you just just let you know. I was just making sure you're okay. It's a good neighbor to check. That and is so still he good. He was not offended by good. it at all. But I literally was just like, man, what if like something's wrong? And then you walk in on a crime scene, or they're right. still there. Well, and that was the thing. Like, I noticed this open door, and I'm just like, I mean, I tried to think it through. I'm like, I would not be offended if somebody, yeah, you would know, check. like if they if they ran past my house and saw that, and they did something that I wouldn't be offended. But I was like, but what if I walk in and they're like. Like, what are you doing? Why Why are you doing this? I don't know. That's weird. I don't know. I always find weird stuff. Like the guy I thought was dead in his car. He was alive. He was older and sleeping. He was alive. <laughs> 
This was the worst of the riot. And we'd like to congratulate you on having the stomach to stick around to the very end. The riot exists because Radio U exists. And Radio U only exists because of your support. Find out more and give now at RadioU.com slash donate. Carrots hot, die.